I've heard analysts and just random people in general say that Curry is washed. Well, is he? I've heard that Dame is the best point guard in the league, better than Curry. You don't say. I've heard that after Steph's 5 games prior to injury last year, he is done for and obviously can't carry a team without 4 other all-stars. Just wild. Even Damian Lillard, good as his intentions might have been, says that Steph can't get the looks he has been getting and that now Steph is in the same position that he himself has been in, Steph finally realizes how difficult it is. Yeah, he sees how difficult it is and he still put up 62. Dame, if you wanna rock the boat, make sure you come with a floater. The depth of this man's bag is yet to be determined. Let's not forget however that James Wiseman not so quietly had his first career double-double. This was actually his best game so far of the season. Despite having to go up against Nurkic in the paint, Wiseman was able to get anything and everything he wanted. In case you forgot, this isn't 2020. Hey what's happening everyone, this is Swish and today I wanted to talk about Steph Curry, James Wiseman and how the Warriors dominated the Blazers in last night's game. Last night's win was a very important one, not just for the fact that we were able to get a win but for the fact that it came against Portland and something else I mentioned in my last video. It was also important because it showed coaching adjustments made by Steve Kerr to actively address player weaknesses by improving his rotations and even further exploiting matchups. What our guys did well on Saturday night, they continued to do well. What they didn't do so well, they improved. The defense that was missing in Saturday's game was definitely present in last night's. Portland shooters were run off the line with the much improved perimeter defense, so unless they were taking deep shots like Damian Lillard, they were forced into misses or turnovers. This means their three stopped falling at a high clip, which means they had to drive to get points in the paint, which means they had to get past Draymond and Wiseman. This can get tiring. Tie this together with the offensive onslaught of Steph Curry, as well as Kelly and Wiggins beginning to find their rhythm plus a brewing nightmare starting to come to life in James Wiseman and we see the team putting some more pieces of the puzzle together. Let's start off with Steph. Steph's shooting last night was amazing and there really is no complaint. I know we all thought he was going to engage Damian Lillard in a back and forth but Curry is a bit too smart for that. He switched it up, went for the drive and got himself into a good rhythm and then came back with two triples to send the MVP into the stratosphere. Guys, Clay might have been holding Steph back. Okay, only half joking. With Draymond on the floor, Steph is much more confident and doesn't feel as isolated. Draymond knows where Steph wants the ball and when he wants the ball. Even in Steph's post-game interview, it was very telling what it's like for him to play without Draymond. He admitted he didn't think Dre was gonna get him that shot, which I feel I've seen that play, that rhythm, so many times, I knew he was going to be giving it to Steph. But Steph, having had to get used to not playing with Draymond, didn't realize that he was, in fact, playing with Draymond. That's the type of player to look for you when he knows you're hot, and knows when you're in your spot, and how to get you that ball in rhythm. This is the chemistry the Warriors were lacking, and Draymond was able to help bring out the best of Steph Curry. In isolation situations, Steph was operating at blistering speeds, catching guys off balance, hezzies, and blowing past them to get to the rim. I have a few hot takes, but I'll save them for another video. 62 points, a career high, and the win to top it off. 62, 4, and 5. What more can you ask for? James Wiseman was the big man Warrior fans, including atheists, have been praying for since the start of the century. While James can shoot it, I appreciated seeing him do his damage in the paint. That is his domain and I enjoyed seeing him take control and own that space. From catching lobs from Draymond to getting those putbacks off the glass, Wiseman was everything the doctor ordered. Going up against and owning Yusuf Nurkic is something this rookie should be proud of and I loved every minute he was on the floor. You can see the chemistry between Wiseman and Draymond doesn't need much work. They are already in sync and can only get better. 
What I would like to see is a three-man pick and roll with these two, plus Steph on the ready for the catch and Oubre on the wing and cutting to the paint, with Draymond ready to lob it to James, pass to a cutting Oubre, or kick to Steph for the outside shot. Have Wiggins rotate to cover the weak side, and that's a third cutter that can either take it to the rack or pass it to Steph depending on the defensive rotation. James Wiseman finished with 12 points and 11 rebounds. This lineup is oozing with potential and needs only a few tweaks to run with the best of them. Andrew Wiggins was productive for us on both ends of the floor, managing to get 11 points in the fourth quarter with a corner three near the end to help us seal the win down the stretch. Wiggins was very aggressive tonight in driving to the rim, using his speed and power to finish over Carmelo Anthony. Defensively, he managed to get two blocks on CJ and was a pest on the defensive boards, battling Cantor at times, and really helping to keep those guys off the glass. We did much better tonight in this department, beating out the Blazers 53-40 in total rebounds. Wiggins ended the night with 21 points and 7 rebounds in 35 minutes of playing time. Kelly Oubre Jr. showed more improvement last night, albeit at a slow but steady pace. He went 7 of 13 from the field, but 1 of 5 from 3, which is a healthy amount of threes until his shots can start falling at a reliable rate. There's no reason to believe he will continue shooting below 10% from 3 for the rest of the season, so as long as these shots are balanced out with his 2 point attempts, he should be able to get back into form as we progress towards the middle of the season and be able to open lanes up for himself when opponents decide not to sag off on defense. Defensively, he was still very reliable for us in helping to somewhat contain the Portland offense and not allowing them to get any easy buckets. Kelly finished with 17 points and 5 rebounds in 33 minutes. Some adjustments that Steve Kerr made that I mentioned in my last video was to make sure Pascal was able to match up against Ennis Cantor, that Wiseman was able to get more feeds, which he was better able to finish last night, that Wiseman got an even better understanding of how to play Nurkic and neutralize Nurkic both offensively and defensively. Pascal seemed to have gotten too much into his own head after successfully going at Cantor repeatedly. Stotts called a timeout and Cantor came back and punished us on the offensive boards, and Kerr wasn't able to adjust for that. He was however able to get Baze out there on the floor, and Baze provided good minutes until he blew that easy layup. Really Baze? Really? Both he and Lee gave us some good defensive minutes as well as a couple of threes to help contain the Blazers at different points during the game. Wanamaker was the unsung hero of the Blazers, providing Cantor an assist for an easy bucket off the save. Cardinal rule, don't ever pass the ball back under your own basket. <sighs> but last night. Steph showed that he was all about that business. He can't win without KD. He can't win without Clay. He can't win without All-Stars. Well, he has none of the above. And he's winning. When we beat the Pistons, they said, Oh, it's just the Pistons. When we beat the Bulls, they said, Oh, it's just the Bulls. Now that we beat Portland, don't think the rest of the league isn't beginning to take notice. So I'm just here to say, Good luck. The chef is cooking. That's it for today. Thank you guys for checking out my video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on your notifications to be the first to get my uploads. Till next time. I've got so hard, sweetie, get served. Call me Lonzo Ball, bitches get swerved. Usually, I don't get down with these girls, but tonight it's on my mind. So I might eat these words. I just wanna.